Hi friends, in this video, the operation of synchronous motor. Synchronous motors are not a self-starting motor. Its a starting torque is zero. Let's see why the starting torque is zero. Let's see or let's discuss the operation of the synchronous motor. So let's see, for example, I am taking a two-pole synchronous motor. Actually, this is not possible. But for easy understanding, I am taking this one. This is my two-pole synchronous motor. This is my rotor. Rotor is connected to excitation, which is given by the DC supply. This is the DC supply. This is also called exciter. Can you anyone tell me this DC supply is given by who? DC supply is given by the generator. Which generator? DC generator. Very good. The DC generators are used as a exciter. Sir, which DC generator used as a exciter? The constant voltage generator used as a exciter. What is the constant voltage generator? The DC shunt generator. If this is not available, DC compound generator. Especially DC shunt generator used as a exciter. It will develop the power then that is given to the field winding of my rotor. Some pilot generators are there. Pilot exciters. In that, here actually we are giving three phase AC supply to the three phase AC supply to the armature. In that, some supply is given to the rectifier. It converts AC to DC. And that DC is given to this exciter like that are there. Whatever the exciter is a DC shunt generator. Right, see here. This is three phase AC supply is given to the armature. Nothing but a three phase winding. When the three phase AC supply given to the three phase armature winding, then it produces rotating magnetic field. I given in induction machine. It produces a rotating magnetic field which rotates in clockwise direction with the synchronous speed. Yeah, it is rotating with clockwise direction and synchronous speed. For example, in this case, for example, in this case, uh, poles are created. Those poles are north pole and south pole. First, what I am doing first, I am giving three phase AC supply to the armature. Then it produces a rotating magnetic field which rotates in clockwise direction with synchronous speed. Nothing but the poles are created, north pole and south pole, which rotates in clockwise direction with synchronous speed. And here, the DC excitation is given to the field winding. When the excitation given to the field winding, here also poles created. Here also poles created in the rotor. Actually, these are the similar poles. Like poles ripple each other. Unlike poles attracts each other. Yes or no? Like poles ripple each other. Unlike poles attracts each other. Here, my stator north pole is rotating in this direction. Then what happened to rotor north pole? It should rotate in this direction. My state or south pole is rotating in clockwise direction. Then what happened to the rotor south pole? It should rotate in this direction. It should rotate like this. Then when this is a rotor, this having the inertia, 
this having the inertia but this is a magnetic field this is perfectly rotates at synchronous speed but due to inertia due to wind friction and due to bearing friction this uh, rotor is slowly rotating 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 like this for example now my rotor is here now my rotor is here my rotor north pole and south pole when this rotor is slowly rotating gradually rotating up to here is the north pole is here no due to very high speed this south pole comes here and this north pole comes here when the north pole is comes here this is the south pole and this is the north pole unlike poles attracts each other then something pulling back this rotor pole the rotor thinking that something is pulling back me so i have to go back so the rotor again starts rotating in reverse here also the south pole attracts the north pole or oh, someone attracting me so i have to go so the north pole is going back again when this north pole and the south pole coming its actual position is the south pole is a uh, is there again no this south pole is rotating and comes here and the north pole is here when my north pole is coming to this location here again i have a north pole or oh, north pole north pole again like poles like pole ripple each other so this north pole will tell to this north pole hey go away you are north pole i am also north pole we are not attracted we should ripple each other so again this north pole says okay i am sorry i think that you are a south pole that's why i came here so i am going back again this going back when it coming up to this position again south pole comes here and again north pole comes here again something attracting oh something attracting again tries to back this one but when comes to here again here the north pole here the south pole again it says oh i am sorry you are north pole right okay i will go back so like this here my rotor is rotating here itself oscillating here itself hence the starting torque is zero there is no production of torque there is no production of unidirectional torque that's why the starting torque is zero in this machine this is simply about the operation of synchronous motor sir how we can start the synchronous motor by rotating this rotor by using any auxiliary set by using that auxiliary set if the rotate the rotor in the same direction then the machine will start so let's go for starting methods of synchronous motor in that we can see how we can start the synchronous motor okay right so this is simply the operation of synchronous motor is this one are you okay right thank you